everyone. How are you doing today or tonight, depending on when you are seeing this? This is Roger, of course, creator of Dungeon Crusade and with Groovis Games Unlimited. And welcome to yet another video. We've been talking a lot lately, and I like talking to you. Um, I hope everyone is doing great, staying safe, enjoying these final days of summer. I can't believe summer's almost over already. Um, I want to get you into this update really quick, but of course, welcome. I'm very happy that you're here, that you spend your time here. I hope you enjoy all the videos. Again, there's more new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very grateful for your time and interest. You guys, even if you didn't pledge for the game and you're just here because you like to you know, learn about all this Dungeon Crusade stuff or like hearing me talk, I, I appreciate it, truly. Thank you. And um, I, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. More fun stuff to check out. Um, so where do we start with this? You know me, I'm not scripting anything. I got to thinking after I just dispatched the Kickstarter update a few days ago. And I wish, honestly, from the heart, I wish I would have thought of this sooner. Why don't I, for Groovis Games Unlimited, and, but for you guys, create what we see here the monthly dungeon crusade kickstarter video update i mean why didn't i think of this sooner you know just i don't know probably because i was busy but what this is is um and again i wish i would have started this sooner for you guys this channel's really growing there's a lot of people tuning in some people don't even know about the kickstarter updates i do i am very religious and on putting out monthly um, Dungeon Crusade Kickstarter updates for everyone. Um, you know, when you do Kickstarter, communication is number one. And I, I truly try to go overboard and, you know, put some fun stuff in the updates. Um, make sure it's very informative for you. Get you acclimated to the game, all that. But then I, I realize that this channel is getting fairly big. And I want you guys to know when these updates are dispatched. You know, I mean... I'm very grateful to you. That That's my point. And so why can't I take 30 minutes, do this kind of stuff, chat with you guys, show you what's in the update, and hang out with you for a bit, and, and other like breaking news. So that's why I thought to do this. And again, I wish I would have thought of this sooner. You know, it would have been great. But so yes, there's a new playlist for this. So every month you can expect, um, you know, we're going to go over the update together. Um, some things I want to say about it, and I, I think you'll really enjoy this. So let's get on with this. And I, I, it took me a day to think of a nice format. Like, see, I put this together um, where I can just, you know, I put all these different logos for what it is. Nice little picture of a dungeon background. I, I did some graphic design. I really, I think this looks kind of creepy. Doesn't this kind of look like retro creepy? I really dig that. Um, but I can use this poster now and just stick the monthly... Um, Kickstarter update onto this and dispatch it and of course that's like that's what the update looks like so that's what this is and so we're gonna go over that but I have some very awesome things to share with you and there's photos inside this update that are brand new that you have not even seen yet so I'm very excited to share these with you I have to jet over to one of the posters I put together um, a few months ago and I'm not glowing about it but I was thinking to do, you know, I do all the graphic design for the posters for Kickstarter. I take all this incredible art, the assets that these amazing artists did, and I manipulate it and put it together and put some effects on it. But I thought, how cool would it be, because you guys know I'm a retro kind of dude, to do like a um, late 70s, early 80s comic book cover for the update poster. And I thought it turned out really good. I was like researching some old comic books and look, I even put the approved by the Comics Code Authority and 25 cents, March 15th, 1979. I think that looks like the real McCoy. I mean, it's got the barcode, um, issue 13, Lair of the Temptress. But I, this was a very fun poster to create. So I, I wanted to show that to you. Um, so let's get on with the monthly Dungeon Crusade Kickstarter video update for you. Okay, so we're going to jet over here to the Dungeon Crusade Kickstarter page. And this has like where all the updates are. 
However, I'm going to give a shout out and one of the fun things I wanted to share with you, I have to give a shout out to the most amazing guy. I don't know if you guys know who Rob Oren is. This guy is, he's just, he's a very good friend of mine. I hold him in high regard and Rob has been a massive supporter of Dungeon Crusade since day one. I've met Rob, we've talked on the phone, we did a an interview back in the day, we had some technical difficulties. He's a tremendously nice and fantastic guy that does a lot for the community, not just Dungeon Crusade, but um, you know, he gives us time for, for people in need. I know that he's done like, um, he's just done a lot of good stuff for people. I mean, his channel is just, just chock full of just playthroughs, um, painting. He is a master painter. He'll give us some tips on painting. Um, and then down here, he did something for Dungeon Crusade. And my, my point is, check his channel out and consider subscribing. Oh, right here. Um, we're not going to go into it, but um, he did a really nice little segment um, on Dungeon Crusade. And then a few days ago, I didn't even know he did this because he is... Well, let me tell you, Rob is kind of like us, guys. He is a dungeon crawl nut. I mean, he is just a fanatic about it like we are. So he, over here, games he's excited about in fourth quarter and his most anticipated game, which I'm, we are great, very grateful for, is Dungeon Crusade. So you can go over here and watch the video, um, subscribe to his channel, and tell him Roger sent you. He's a very, very nice guy. <clears throat> and also, another very nice guy who you are going to fall in love with his channel, DJ, DJ Davis. I know you watch these videos, and yeah, I'm calling you out, and all of us crusaders are creeping your page right now. DJ is, I think that he's like my brother from another mother. We're both musicians. He's an incredibly awesome musician, total dungeon crawl fan, um, RPG, fantasy adventure, everything. So if this is one of my favorite channels, and not just because DJ's a nice guy, but I think you will really, really enjoy everything he has to offer. And I just saw this today. He just put up Dungeon Quest review, like the old school 80s one. And for those who don't know, that is my favorite board game of all time. I could tell you so many stories about this game. So DJ, I'm tomorrow I'm going to watch this. And, oh good, it's almost 30 minutes. But he does, DJ does so much awesome content on his channel, reviews, playthroughs. Um, he did an awesome section on, if I can find it, on Warhammer Quest. Right here, he did a Let's Play Warhammer Quest, another one of my favorite games. That's in my top three. And then he did like a whole history on Warhammer Quest, right here. So definitely check out DJ's channel, and just a tremendously nice guy. I can't say enough nice stuff about him. Okay, so I wanted to get that out of the way. So check out the Dungeon Dive with DJ and definitely Rob Orange channel. And again, Rob, thank you for your kind words and everything you've done. And I'm looking forward to you seeing you play this on your channel, as you've said. Okay, Dungeon Crusade Update 112. Um, so we're going to scroll down here. And then um, you can, if you feel free, oh, we're already in the update. But this is the update um, page right here where you can just scroll down and see all of the monthly updates I've dispatched if you like but we're going to be talking about this one in particular and I'm very excited to show you some of this stuff because you've not seen it also um, if you are a creator if you're thinking of hitting Kickstarter and I'm not glowing about this but take a look at this format that I came up with I think it has a nice flow to it and um, of course, I just try to help people where I can. So if you're thinking of going on Kickstarter, take note of like how I laid everything out. I think it has just a nice flow. And um, I don't know people seem to enjoy, you know, how it's all um, laid out. Okay, so the heading here, the printing of Dungeon Crusade has been completed. You guys already knew that. Shipping out in September. The final production version of the game arrives um, next week. But this was from a few days ago. This week... I have to touch base with our um, production manager and see how that's going. But we, according to her, we're going to see it this week. And yes, we're going to be doing an unboxing and everything. So there's again the poster, um, number 112. And I took all of these photos you're going to see and kind of made a collage. And I thought it came out pretty good. And this is my sticker of Ultra Mega Dungeon Crusade update. So when people see that, 
I'm known for these huge updates, so this is one of them. So this is a nice welcome here. We won't go through that, but you know, I just tell everyone, you know, it's nice to be back with you and some light stuff that's been going on. And something I do here is previously, kind of like a TV show, previously on Dungeon Crusade. Um, this is, it shows, you know, last month's update. So they can easily, I have the poster here for them, and they could just click on a link, shoot over there if they missed it, then come back to this one. But the nice thing is, I did that for all of them, so you can keep like going back. Um, so I don't know, it's a nice feature that I think people enjoy because it's there. These two updates, I'm gonna give you a quick story, a funny story about this, because I was the guy who broke Kickstarter. I don't know, I think people joke with me about that, but um, this was a milestone and something I was very proud of all of us with the amazing artists, the tech writers, everything that this this was supposed to be one update here. It was supposed to be update 92, part one. But it was only supposed to be one update. What I did was, this was, the whole game was complete and we were excited to show it off. So I said, okay, I'm gonna create a mega, ultra, <laughs> industrial strength update and show everyone everything in the game and discuss it. This was weeks to put this thing together. I got not even halfway through and I got an alert from Kickstarter. It said, you have reached the 60,000 character limit. And honestly, guys, I, I specifically remember thinking I was at the, like the top of like Kickstarter mountain with like the wind blowing and like, you know, like a, a light snow blowing in the air. And I jam my flag at the top of this mountain. So I don't know if it's an accomplishment or something to be proud of, but guess what? I found out there's a 60,000 character limit on Kickstarter. So I hope you found that mildly entertaining. So I basically had to split it in half and do, you know, part one. And then it was like a day later. I think I stayed up for almost 48 hours to get this done. And then I dispatched part two on update 93. So that's over there if you want. We are not going to go into that because we'll be here for like five hours. But feel free to shoot over here and take a look at that. It's I'm very proud of that update and it just shows all the amazing artists and myself and the tech writers, you know, we got this thing done. Um, and remember the comment section, I always tell people, I'm always in there hanging out, telling people what's going on. So let's get into this update for the printing of Dungeon Crusade it has been completed. And you guys know some of the stuff you've already seen, um, some chatting here, you've seen this picture before. Um, I think you've seen this one, but look how nice. It's just, I worked very closely with the designer and our project managers, um, you know, from the proof copy to the final. And I, I just was made, I was good. I was hell bent to make sure this game was going to be nice and clear and bright and colorful. And it just, look at that. It just, it looks tremendous. Very happy with the results. So I think, I think. I don't know if you saw that before or not. Um, final prints. Now these, I think this, I just got these right before, like the night before the update, I found, I got these from our production manager. So some of these are gonna be brand new to you. So there's um, a tower tack. There's um, some, um, some miniatures, cardboard miniatures there, dungeon doors. And okay, you saw this one before, I think there's the, now this was all uncut, but I have stuff coming up here that's all cut and wrapped in the, you know, shrunk wrap and ready to be boxed up. Okay, and we looked at this, those are all the monster cards on a sheet before they were cut. And then move a little bit further down, we're gonna see that all the monster cards have been cut and wrapped up. And okay, I remember you saw this one, mining cards, and those are the Avalon Adventure board game cards, look at that stack. Trust me, there's much more. Okay, this is a new one. There is all the Skulljack playing cards for the House of Chance game, Skulljack. And you can see they're cut, wrapped in plastic. So the, it's very close, guys, to all of the stuff getting put into the game boxes. And there's some stuff over here. But um, that looks very nice. And look at all those mining cards. Again, you can see all nice and cut, wrapped up in plastic, ready to be put into the game box. Very exciting to see all this. It's just, you know, I just speak from the heart. I just tell you, it's just, it's just amazing what all of us accomplished. Not just me, I'm just a component 
because of the artists and tech writers and of course all you people who pledged and backers just like what a journey this was and here's the monster cards okay so they're all stacked up um wrapped up ready to be put in game to the game boxes loot cards oh wait till you see the picture coming up with all the loot cards stacked up on a pallet but there's um 193 loot unique loot cards take a look at that there's all the blessing cards and actually they have the heroes special ability cards in there um, so there's all those ready to go and then here more tower attack it's a lot of tower attack um, there you go there's some um, cardboard miniatures for you and those are for the um, was it or those are your red markers like to put on the different stuff on the dungeon UI board and you can use them as counters for certain things dungeon doors there's actually the other ones well it's actually if you look right here there's three variations of dungeon doors so there's those and there is that's all the punch boards actually that's um, the dungeon doors of course and then the cardboard miniatures and that's all cardboard miniatures and dungeon doors so those are ready to get boxed up that's what I was talking about look at all those loot cards that's a lot of loot more tower attack there's a good shot of all the monster cards for the games for the game boxes Wow again there's uh, blessing cards and hero special abilities and so we're going to keep moving along. Then I just mentioned final production version will be here next week, this week. Um, more, because you got to remember some of the people here haven't seen this because, you know, what we've been seeing on the channel. So, of course, I always, you know, kind of just, um, you know, put everything together and put it out in the monthly update. Um, Spotlight series, you know, you've been seeing all this. So you've seen these things, the Skulljack, Let's Play, Tower Attack. Um, I also shared the, what's this word, the Skulljack. Oh, I just took those pictures and put them here that, um, I don't think you saw these yet. But I took these pictures when we did the Let's Play before we tore it down and um, put them on the Dungeon Crusade Facebook page and for the monthly update. Those came out, those came out pretty nice. Um, and yes, I've got to get the Avalon Adventure board game in-depth look at Avalon done for you. That's coming. And then remember the lighting thing. I, well, I shared that here, and there were some people that were very surprised by it. So I put the comparison here, and hopefully you saw that. 2700K, 5500K. Like, what a difference that, that lighting makes. Um, so if you, if you guys know, if there's someone out there that doesn't know what I'm talking about, go to the let's play Skulljack video and there's a huge test that we did to let you see how the proper lighting makes Dungeon Crusade look its best and all your board games so there's again 2700 5400 but you know there were some people that very that were very amazed at you know how different the lighting is so I was glad that you know we could share that and get people on track with the um, right lighting Okay, moving along so this is the origin posters and I think I showed you all these and I know this update is very long but I think it's just my job and duty and responsibility give people as as much information as I can what's going on you know and so they're you know they're in the loop of everything going on um, oh and YOLO my dog excuse she just yawned if you heard that um, origins posters we, we looked at these I think in the um, in the prior video you can go over here to the Kickstarter update and look at all this um, and I just put some of their special abilities here so we got people up to speed on that and that came out very nice succubus and uh, oh chat for people who don't know the normal expert and heroic monster difficulty decks um, a couple variants that you could play with these and I I know I talked about this in one of the videos but real quick um, game ships with normal difficulty monsters however as an add-on 
there is expert and heroic difficulty. How I'm playing, I mix them all together. So I don't know what's gonna spawn into the dungeon. And again, it adds to that replayability. So it's who knows what will spawn into the dungeon when you mix all of them together. I'd get acclimated to the game before you do something crazy like that. But this was actually, the other variant was um, Tobias. If you're listening, Tobias, you were the one who thought of this, so I wanna give you credit for that. Um, Tobias came up with a really good variant that where the, the monsters start out as normal monsters, but say you killed this Blackwood Prowler, okay? Like the green, see it's like the green one has the green base. You remove that from the game, but then it kind of levels up. You put the expert um, Blackwood Prowler into the deck. And then if this one is, if the heroes kill this one, you'd put the heroic version in. So as it, as it, you know, is slain, it levels up. So there's two different variants you could play with the difficulty decks. And could there be two more difficulties coming with the expansion? I don't know. Mythical and legendary. Let's see how people handle these and maybe we'll throw a couple more difficulty decks in there. Um, oh, and then right here, I just talk about it, tell people. And in closing, then here I just, you know, tell everyone this thank you and what's kind of going on and, you know, thank you for your time. And I think that's about it. And then I put, of course, ending here with Dungeon Crusade. And I will share this here. One of my favorite bands, I love music. And a lot of bands kind of got me through this project, just listening to their awesome music. I listen to a lot of um, hard rock and rock music from Sweden, but this band is out of LA. Please go check out Starcrawler. And I put some links here. Um, go check out the band Starcrawler. I think you'd love them. And guys, I think that's about it. And then it just goes down to some comments where I, we all chat together. So we're gonna shoot over here, back to the poster. And that wraps up this video. Guys, I love you. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, so I think that we're gonna just do this. Every time I dispatch another monthly update, I wanna keep you guys informed here too. And um, let me know if you like this. Do you wanna see more of them every month? Cause I, I, I love chatting with you. And I'm just very grateful to all of you for your time. All right, I think it's time for me to hit the, hey, it's 2.30 a.m., but I wanted to get this out for you. I hope everyone has an awesome Tuesday, an awesome week. Please stay safe. And there's going to be a lot happening, I think, this week with the final version coming. So I'll be updating you on that after I talk to our production managers. Okay, guys, have a great day, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.